you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to draw the section in of this view now if you look at the question that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen you discover that we are told to section this figure right and we draw out the section plane section plane is this line you're seeing here which i'm going to draw here you see is so this is a, a section plane here right now if you look at where two there was a section this let me call it plain what xx right Though if you look at the diagram, this was not this was omitted, right? But normally this is our cutting plane. So we are told to look at this direction. We have to draw it. So we are look look for the, the section front elevation. This is what we're actually looking at. So it means that when you section this, when you cut this plane, this figure into half, right? want to section it what will you see so they want us to draw the section view of the front elevation here because looking at the direction is what the front elevation as the arrow is telling us here so let me tell you what it means to section which i'm going to do at the right hand side of the screen here to understand what it means to what to section a given view This is what it means to be able to section it. So when I section it, this will have I've, I've cut it into two. So I'll be looking at this side, right? So when you're looking at this side now after sectioning, what are you going to see? That is what the question is telling us. The question is not telling us to draw this or we should draw this. The question is telling you that after you've sectioned this figure, what are you going to see, right? Now what I will see is this. This is what I am going to see. This is what I will see when I'm looking at it from this side. You know when you cut something, right? Your knife or your cutting plane will touch all this side, right? But you cannot touch here because of what of the hole here similarly it cannot touch it because of the hole here right so those parts it cannot touch you will not section it but those parts that the plane will touch you are cutting a bread or loaf of bread this is the to just touch it where friction will be um will be experienced right all this surface will experience what friction is that taken now so what this simply means that if you're looking at it from here i'll see here which is here I will see here, but looking from a straight line now, you see that maybe you see it as a straight line. So looking something perpendicularly, you see that everything on the same plane because here also is a line. So if you you see as if this line at the back here is on the same level as this, that's why I'm drawing this one too here. Right? Similarly with the same case here too. So from here to here is from here to here. So this is what you see when you're looking at it from this side, right? So the thing is, where will my plane touch? I told you when I cut this into two. The side that experience friction that where my knife or my cutting plane will touch will be all these edges here, right? We cannot touch it. So that is why I will now what section it using my 45 degree what 45 degree set square, right? So this is what I'll be having. So this is what we are going to be having when you want when you section this figure so if you are asked now now let's go to our answer now how can you replicate this you're just going to draw this like this to show that it's a section view you draw it in you don't have to draw it at an angle what you just do is the question now is what you're going to do 
So we understand what it means for you to section something, right? And this is what you'll be seeing when you're looking at the sectioned part. So all the place that the knife is touching, you're sectioning there, which I have here. So if I'm told to answer this question here, my answer will be this. So what you're expected to draw, it says you draw the section front elevation, right? This is what you're expected to draw. You draw your um horizontal line this way. I will know the length of the line as given in the question is uh, um, 120. So from here to here, this is, let me use this, 120. From zero to this point here is 120. Right? And I'm going to tick in it. This is the answer. And the height from here to here, which is, from here to here, which is interesting from here to here, that is 20. So I'm going to measure the height of 20 this way, right? So also measure the height of 20 this way. We will measure height of 20 from here to here. You can see that? And I'm going to thicken it. Similarly, the same thing will be applied here too. So I'll just draw my straight line, just like from here to here. So I'm going to just draw a straight line first. Now we'll do that from here to here is 30. So I'm going to measure the 30 from that point. I'm saying from here to here, right? So I measure 30, 0 to 30. Similarly here to 0 to 30. Right? Which is what? Which is thickened. This is thickened. Then at that point, the height. From here to here, the height. I'll take it up. And the height is 40. Right? And where you can see, from here to here is 40. Then I'll measure 40, 0 to 40, 0 to 40, which is here, right, which I am going to take in. Then I can easily close it up this way. Because I'm here too, I will take in it. Right, then from here to here, Get to year 15, 0 to year 15, and here also is what 15, and I'll close it up. And I'll bring it down. Here to bring it down. And I'll close it up. Right, also, I'll take them here up. Then, the next thing we're going to do is the thickness here, right? So, we should get the center of 30. Center of 30 is 15. 0 to 15. Put here. And here also, 0 to 15. Right, so I'll put my center line there. Because the symmetrical object is there. I'll just put it this way. I'll come here to I'll do the same thing too. So from here to here, mm -hmm. given that from here to here is what? Is um, 15. So we're talking about 7.5 in both sides. I can, we know that from here to here 7.5, right? Or you measure it on your ruler, 7.5. This is 7.5 here from 0 to 7.5 here. Right? So I'm place at this point. I'll mark right. And also can mark left. I'll come here to. I'll mark right. And also I'm going to mark what? Left. So I'm going to draw my line downward. Using a straight line. And also a straight line. Here yeah, also use a straight line and also a straight line. 
You can see that. So what I will now do now is I will start sectioning using my 45 degree stress square. So heavily distributed. I can just come from here, give a very bigger space again. Then from here, leave a very bigger space again. Then from here, leave a very bigger space again. Then from here, leave a very bigger space again. Then from here, also the same thing. Then from here, also the same thing. Then from here, the same thing. Then from here, the same thing. Then from here too. From here too. From here too. From here too. From here. From here. From here. From here. So this is our answer here this is what you're asked to do right if you see draw the section this is what is a section elevation when you look at it so this is your answer all this i did here is just the explanation of what it takes to bring out this right so the part i section is where the knife cutting edge is touching the cutting plane so it looks like you're cutting something into two all those parts right that it is in contact with that's where i sectioned so you do your uh, you do your uh, what I put it your dimensioning, which is very important also, so you understand what you're trying to do. We know from here, so we can use your method of dimensioning here. And before I continue, right, if you want to watch how I consider the isometric projection of this view, you can click on the link at the top right corner here of the screen. And you are going to see the isometric projection of this view here. How I consider this, right? So we we'll move forward. Right? So this is what we have here. This is what you are told to do, and this is our answer. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video, right? Thanks for watching.